Back in 2015, Ducati launched the Scrambler series in India. It was and still is their most affordable product lineup, one that made the Ducati brand a lot more accessible. What you see in front of you now is the 2019 version of the Scrambler that bears significant updates. Well, you want to know what it is? Come along. Now, cosmetically, this might look like the same Scrambler, but there are a few changes that Ducati has made to the design. Firstly, is this new tank pad is, that ha also has a recess over here to latch onto really well. Then you have the exhaust muffler over here that's cylindrical. The wheels are new as well. And then there's the LED DRL in the headlamp. But the most important design change is the seat over here. The shape is new and they've also worked around with the foam density because the previous seat was a little too soft and wasn't suited for long journeys. A new hydraulic clutch replaces the cable operated one and Ducati has also added adjustable levers. In terms of safety, the Scrambler comes with cornering ABS as standard. That is a big plus when you consider the fact that a lot of newbies will ride this bike. While there are a number of changes that Ducati has done to the Scrambler, the engine displacement and power as well as the torque figures is identical to the previous motorcycle. So, while in the previous bike the fueling was more like an on and off switch, the new throttle body in the 2019 model has made the power delivery quite linear. The route around Thailand was a mix of slow, windy roads, as well as some empty stretches, and everywhere, the scrambler proved to be immense fun. There's generous amount of torque right from the bottom end of the rev range, and that translates to quick acceleration. Also, the strong mid-range allows you to ride at lower speeds in higher gears, highlighting the motor's tractability. At 100 kmph, for instance, the taco is hovering a little below 4000 rpm, and while at it, the motor fell unstressed. That said, there's some amount of vibration that you feel in the pegs and the handbar post 120 kmph. The exhaust note is quite addictive and it's something that I love about the twin-cylinder Ducatis. Yeah, the emission norms have suffocated the noise levels, but it's not disappointing. The gear shifts are smooth and positive, but there were a couple of instances of false neutrals in higher gears, but I'll leave that to the case of a brand new motorcycle with barely 100 kilometers on the clock. A major issue that the previous Scrambler faced was the suspension. It was too stiff and that's what Ducati has worked on. At the same time, it's not wallowy, so when you chuck into a corner, there's decent, actually good amount of grip. Uh, despite this block pattern tires over here. And then, when you go over a bad bump, you go expansion joints and over bridges, I'm just surprised by the way this suspension was so pliant. Uh, unlike the previous motorcycle that used to be a little too choppy. So, a big, big difference uh, that Ducati has made to the motorcycle. And overall, a great, great, fun motorcycle to have. The Ducati Scrambler Icon is and always has been a fun motorcycle and the updates only elevate the experience. But what really sticks out about the Scrambler is its ability to make every ride, short or long, in the city or on the mountain roads, very involving. It's that factor alone that made riding the new Scrambler so enjoyable. When Ducati launches the bike in India, expect prices to go up marginally given the additional equipment. But in my books, it'll be totally worth it. Now besides the icon, Ducati also got us this lovely desert sled. It is a motorcycle that is for someone who, well, is intimidated by big ADVs or rather wants to wander off-road and try his hand at uh, riding a motorcycle off-road but doesn't want a big ADV. And that's where the Scrambler desert sled comes in. Personally, in Thailand, I was really impressed by the way this motorcycle handled through corners. I think this, this motorcycle here rides on the Pirelli Scorpion Trail tires and the grip levels were astounding for the kind of, uh, for the purpose rather. So, 
whether on the road or off the road, there's a good amount of grip from the wheels. Uh, you can really tip it in a corner and it was fun. And when we took it off-road, uh, it inspired a lot of confidence. You can just stand on the pegs, grab the tank over here, uh, look straight, and uh, it would just go over everything with so much confidence. I never had a moment where, you know, the front end did something funny, or, you know, I, I lost uh, control. So, overall, a motorcycle over here that uh, really presents a great option to an ADV, and, of course, it is the scrambler for people who really want to go beyond tarmac and go really far off, so, yeah. Good motorcycle here.